An integral part of this orchard is my flock. I've got chooks, ducks and I've got geese and they all had a specific role to play, apart from just keeping me amused. Chooks were obvious. Chooks give you eggs and they give you manure too. So what happens is all the food scraps from our kitchen come down in here and the chooks peck through them. Now about twice a year we have a big clean out of the chook yard and we muck out all the straw and all the manure and that goes out into my veggie patch. Sometimes it goes in layers in my compost bins. Um, you can't use it fresh, but sometimes I simply dump it on the soil where I plan to grow crops the following season. So at the moment, here we are um, in April going into May, I've just started mucking it out and we put it on beds that will have pumpkins next spring. So adding that manure to the soil, half the time I just put it on top and put mulch on it and let the worms work it through. It means that the soil is highly fertile and I can grow amazing crops like my pumpkins. Now I got the ducks initially because they were going to eat snails in the orchard but over time I realised there weren't any snails left in the orchard and where I had a lot of problems with snails particularly the little rural snails was out in my general garden. So about a year ago I took all the ducks out of the orchard and they now live or they're locked up at night in an old cubby house and I let them free range around the garden during the day. They're a delight to see them running around and they've done a pretty good job on those little snails. The numbers are certainly lower than they used to be. Now all of those creatures give me eggs. Now chooks more or less give you eggs all year round. Ducks mainly give you eggs in spring and duck eggs are amazing. If you want to make the best sponge cake, duck eggs are extraordinary. And then I got geese. Now that was purely that when we started, this was just a grassy paddock and I needed a way to mow the grass and I really didn't want to be in here with a lawnmower or with a whippersnipper. So as soon as the trees were old enough, I got geese so that geese could be my geese weeders and they would mow the grass. Geese love to mow grass. So they were fantastic on winter grasses that would grow. They were also great on kikuyu, they quite like that. But what I found over time is because the geese did such a good job on mowing the grass, the broadleaf weeds started to dominate and cause a problem. And then I didn't have enough grass for the geese to eat. So I got in this habit that every morning I let the geese out of the orchard, they wander down to the paddock where they graze all day. And in the afternoon when they're ready, they come back inside. And that actually works really well. The reality is geese are gorgeous. So are chooks and so are ducks. But if you want the least messy creature, that's definitely chooks. Once you start getting ducks, you have to have a pond and they make a lot of mess and everything's wet and pooey. Um, and then when you get to geese, that ramps it up a whole new level. Around the chook yard, I've got wormwood planted. Now that's for both practical and aesthetic purposes. A chook yard inside can look a bit scrappy, especially over winter, but the wormwood from a practical point of view, not only provides me with screening, the chooks can peck at it if they've got worms and apparently it gets rid of their worms. When you prune it, which you need to do regularly, you actually put the prunings into their nesting boxes and that helps with mites and other parasites. Now, as well as the wormwood, I've actually got jasmine and honeysuckle growing on the chook yard too because chook yards can get a bit aromatic. And um, what I've found is this beautiful jasmine, it's one called azoricum. It flowers virtually all year round. And that lovely sweet smell, it's not overwhelming like the normal jasmine is, but that lovely sweet smell helps to sweeten any unpleasant odors. I can't imagine life without my three different types of flocks, but um, I've got the space to be able to enjoy them. So the geese are amazing. Goose eggs are to die for. Now again, mainly in springtime, but it's like party time in our household when it's goose egg season. We can make amazing frittatas, carbonara sauce, amazing, beautiful cakes, and wonderful for custard, all those sort of baked desserts like impossible pie. It's an absolute highlight when it starts to be goose season in our household. Now, one of the things about having any fowls is you've got to be able to lock them up safely at night. We can see foxes during the daytime here. And so I've got to be able to have a fox-proof yard. So not long after we planted the orchard, we built a fox-proof yard, mostly out of secondhand materials, an old railway carriage that was a couple of properties away. 
and the, the chain lock mesh and we actually sewed it on the frame around and I've even dug that mesh about a metre, it comes out a metre horizontally and it also has a, a skirt that goes up at the top so the foxes can't climb over, foxes can climb, they can climb up into trees and jump down into chook pens but then um, I actually ended up with a marimma and he's a delight in our life. His name is Sherlock Hounds. The kids named him that because he's on the case of the fox. And if you've never seen the movie Oddball, please do. Maremmas are an ancient breed of dogs, rather large, and they bond with a flock, whether it's um, fowls, whether it's sheep, whether it's goats, whatever it is, and they protect the flock from foxes. So we've never lost a single animal from within the orchard <laughs> while we've had Sherlock barking on cue and he's fabulous. Now Sherlock in himself has caused a few problems. Maremmas love to dig holes and when they dig holes, when we have an open garden, I have to go around in the morning before the open garden and fill in any holes he's dug. They also bark a lot, particularly at night. So if anything's wrong, you know, whether it's a ruse in the paddock or anything that he thinks isn't right, he'll let us know about them.